We are in constant awe of the amazing things within our planet and the expeditions across the world to make new discoveries. A day doesn't go by that we don't learn something new about science, nature, space or history. The world is full of mysteries, and many eager scientists and adventurers are trying to solve them. Our thirst for knowledge has taken us to the depths of the ocean, the deepest corners of the jungle, and planets millions of miles away from Earth. Nonetheless, there remains a lot to be uncovered and many more adventures to be had. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries you may not have heard about. Massive DNA Borg Structures Perplex Scientists Do you remember the Borg from Star Trek that can assimilate knowledge from other species and copy the technology of others? Well, in a recent discovery, scientists uncovered something that has some similarity to these aliens, but perhaps a little bit less evil. Scientists and researchers have been taking samples at muddy sites in the west of the United States. They came across a new type of DNA that supposedly assimilates genes from other microorganisms in their environment. So, like the Star Trek Borg, these DNA strands were taking genes and characteristics from other organisms in their location and using them. In addition, researchers decided to name this unique DNA strand Borgs, after the aliens in Star Trek and their ability to assimilate knowledge and technology of other species. This newly discovered DNA is an example of extrachromosomal elements, or ECEs. As a result, many scientists and microbiologists, like Huang Li from the Chinese Academy of Science in Beijing, claim that the discovery of Borgs is exciting but does note their similarity to other ECEs. Therefore, they might not be considered a new discovery, as others are claiming. However, one thing that distinguished Borgs from other ECEs is their enormous size. They range from 600,000 to 1 million DNA base pairs in length. This is significantly larger than other ECEs. In addition, researchers are still trying to understand these unique DNA structures, but there is hope that they could help eliminate methane in the air. This claim is made based on their similarity to another microorganism known as methane operadans that do this same task and can remove methane from the air. If this is true, these Borg DNA strands could be a huge benefit for society's battle with climate change and help to save the Earth. It will take some time for microbiologists and scientists to study these new ECE-like strands, but we can keep our fingers crossed that they might become a great asset in combating climate change. Neanderthal diet was carnivorous shows study of tooth. Neanderthals are an extinct species that lived in Eurasia nearly 40,000 years ago. They are considered to be archaic humans, which means they have some similar traits and body composition to modern-day people. Scientists can typically determine the diet of an animal or human by extracting proteins and looking at the nitrogen isotopes in bone collagen. However, the issue with this technique is that it cannot be used on bones older than 50,000 years old due to their fragility and risk of deterioration. As a result, researchers have struggled to determine the diet of Neanderthals. Their location and region will also provide some insight into what they may have eaten. For example, some of the studies conducted on the dental tartar in the Iberian Peninsula concluded that they preferred a plant-based diet. At the same time, in other areas, it was strictly meat. For one, the Neanderthals in Spain at the Gabasa site were carnivores. A researcher named Clevia Joayan helped to develop the idea of using zinc isotope ratios in a tooth's enamel to figure out what it regularly ate. Zinc isotope ratios are highly durable and can withstand degradation, so they will not be damaged during the extraction and analyzation period. She used this technique to get more information on what the diet of these Neanderthals might have been. To be clear, if the proportions of zinc isotopes in the bones were lower, the animal or human was likely to be a carnivore. In contrast, if the proportions were smaller, the human or animal likely had a plant-based diet. With this in mind, this technique is still highly debated, and many skeptics are still determining if analyzing zinc isotope ratios is enough to assess the diets of the subject accurately. Nonetheless, 
This new process of analyzing Neanderthal teeth has made waves across the scientific community. Controversial cave discoveries suggest humans reached the Americas much earlier than previously thought. In a recent expedition to the mountains of central Mexico, a team of archaeologists came across evidence that suggests humans may have arrived in North America only 30,000 years ago. This is significantly earlier than what had previously been thought. While exploring the Chicajita cave, the archaeologists discovered hundreds of ancient tools and artifacts covered in several layers of gravel and dirt. The cave is nearly 3,000 meters above sea level in the country's Astillero Mountains. The gravel on top of the tools has been carbon dated between 25,000 and 32,000 years old. The cave would have likely been used by humans on infrequent occasions, as there were very few tools discovered. The speculation for this is that North America was probably extremely dangerous during the last ice age, and the cave may have been used to hide out dangerous storms and blizzards. However, not all scientists believe the claims about humans arriving in the Americas earlier. It's possible that the tools were shifted below older gravel due to geological activity, burrowing animals, or other sorts of activity. In addition, besides the tools, there was very little else found that implied humans inhabited the cave. One claim goes so far as to say that those living in the cave may have been a lost group. They didn't survive to contribute to the modern gene pools and perished in the cave or nearby. However, it's still very possible that there existed societies and humans who reached the Americas well before we initially realized it. This is only one example of a potential group of inhabitants that are considered to have lived there earlier than many others. The cave is still being explored, and it's unknown what might be discovered with more time and effort put into the research. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.